The overall goal of this procedure is to record BK channel activation under controlled voltage while also controlling the intracellular solution. This is accomplished by first expressing BK channels in Xenopus oocytes by injecting them with BK channel mRNA. The second step of the procedure is to prepare the perfusion system. The third step of the procedure is to form a gigaohm seal between the oocyte membrane and the patch pipette. The final step of the procedure is to excise the membrane patch. Ultimately, results obtained by using patch clamp technology coupled with a perfusion system show that BK channels are activated by changes in voltage and calcium concentration. Hi, I'm Jinchou Yang from Dr. Jiemin Cui's lab in Washington University. This method can help answer key questions in the neuroscience field, including questions concerning the molecular mechanism for ion channel activation. So, let's get started. The first step in the procedure starts a couple of days before the patch clamping and uses BK channel mRNA that was transcribed in vitro. After harvesting the Xenopus lavus oocytes, stage 5 to 6, inject 0.05 to 50 nanograms of BK channel mRNA into an oocyte using a Nanoject 2 auto nanoliter injector. Repeat the injection on a dozen oocytes for each mRNA. Following the injection, rinse the oocytes twice using ND96 solution. Then place the oocytes in a culture plate and incubate them at 18 degrees Celsius for two or more days to allow time for the oocytes to express the BK channel. Following two to five days of incubation, the oocytes should be expressing BK channels.